2005, you might say Surrey County witnessed a miracle. The Cougar boys basketball team won its first ever state championship. Coach Joe Ellis got to hoist that coveted trophy two months before passing away from cancer. 14 years later, both the Surrey County boys and girls teams playing on the same floor look to add to his legacy. State Championship Saturday. I'm Nathan Epstein in Richmond inside the Siegel Center where it seems like the spirit of Coach Ellis is alive and well. You look over my shoulder, you can see blue and gold all over this arena. It seems like all of Surrey County showed up hoping to cheer on both the boys and the girls teams to state championship victories. First, the Surrey County boys taking on 26 and 3 east side from the west part of Virginia. Early first quarter, Surrey County in white. Brandon Drew, the senior, finds the range. Nine points, 14 rebounds in his last game. Early second quarter, Cougars down by two. Monte Pope from long range, three of his 14 points. Game tie, 26 all at the half. Back and forth all second half, fourth quarter. Cougars start to pull away. Xavier Brown, the lob. Quandrill Palmer, the finish. Team high, 16 points for Palmer. Next possession, Surrey County salts it away. Up ahead, Zamari slayed the slam. Don't worry, he was just fine. Matter of fact, he was flying, as was all of Surrey County. After 14 years, it's another Cougar coronation. Look at that Surrey County crowd celebrate. And then the moment they'd waited and worked for, the final buzzer, Surrey County, class one state champions, 57 to 48, only their second in program history and their first since Coach Ellis's team. It's been 14 years in the making. How does it feel? It still feels surreal to me right now. Uh, it, it just seemed like a blur, but uh, um, I'm real blessed to be in this position. I'm just glad that God gave us favor and, and we made it to capitalize. Man, it feel amazing. I thought I'd never be here. I worked hard, everything, man. I thought I'd never be here, man. Last year we came up short of the lane past the Winter State Championship team last year. And now we just came back for redemption and just, we took it all. And my mind went back to March the 12th. 2005 and all the emotions of that day and I just know that right now you know coach Ellis is just smiling down he's so happy now to the girls side the lady Cougars won a title nine years ago taking on the two-time defending champs Perry McClure who beat Surrey County last year second quarter Madison Dunlap from long range three of her game high 25 points Surrey County trailed by as many as 15 and by 11 at halftime Second half, Cougars made a charge led by their senior, Bracia Bird, the layup, and one. Team high, 17 points, but McClure made enough plays to keep their lead late. Emma Camden with the steal and two of her 17 points. McClure goes on for the three-peat, 58 to 45, but it was another tremendous season for Coach Chris Brown and Surrey County. Honestly, I just want to, I'm just proud of everyone, all of my teammates. I feel like they gave everything they got, and that's all that matters. I, I give my, my players uh, credit for coming out and never quitting. Um, and, and definitely, at the end of the day, this is another one of those, you know, some people say losses, but it's a lesson for us. We definitely plan to keep on working and uh, look forward to getting back and getting it right. These stands were filled with blue and yellow today. What can you say about the fan support you had? Best fans ever, man. I, 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 pre I appreciate Surrey County and all the, the families that came out to support us, people that come from out of state, and, um, and we love them. With that, the high school basketball season comes to a close, so from now on, we're going to be concentrating on postseason action in the college ranks. Old Dominion wrapped up the regular season today at Alabama Birmingham. We're going to have highlights of that coming up tonight. The University of Virginia, ranked number two in the nation, could wrap up the top seed for this week's ACC tournament, taking on Louisville at the John Paul Jones Arena in Charlottesville. We'll have highlights of that as well. From Richmond, this is Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.